week. We want to follow that up with another question that came in via text, Andre. And this is actually speaking of, of Satan and Lucifer. Why did God cast Lucifer to this planet if Lucifer was making trouble in heaven? Why not send him to a planet and isolate him because God has the power to do that? So here we have a viewer that's wondering, you know, wouldn't it have been easier just to send Lucifer elsewhere and not basically condemn this planet? Um, Dr. Selly, what, what is, does the Bible address this? This is a very interesting question, but sure. also a very complex one. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, we don't know everything. And we know that, you know, heaven has his, its own rules. But we also know from the Bible that the foundation for God's rulership is justice and love and freedom of will. So when God was accused by Satan that he rules by, you know, force and he forced everyone to love him, God needed to demonstrate that people or other creatures, they have power of free will. And so when earth was created and Adam and Eve were placed in the Garden of Eden, we need to remember that they were not given under the rulership of Satan. No, it was their paradise. It was their planet. And but because of accusation, God gave also like freedom of access to devil, but the access was to, 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 to this people, but mm. the access was limited. Only one tree, only one, you know, one place in the yeah. Garden of Eden where he could tempt them. So, but unfortunately, they <clears throat> fell and so they surrendered under his rulership. And that's why in John 14, 30, he is called Prince of this world. Because we as humankind, we surrendered. So <clears throat> the question is, can he be sent to any isolated planet? Yeah, possibly he could be sent there, but still to, you know, justify the character of God, he should have access to other creatures so that God can show that other people, creatures, or any, anyone could choose to worship him by free will. And so... This is the case with our planet. So we need to accept this reality that Adam and Eve, you know, surrendered. And now he's prince of this world. But the good news is that Jesus came to redeem us. Absolutely. So he came to return back our heritage. And so I think Jesus would do it with any other planet mm. and with any other place if it would be not Earth, but other planet. Wow, that is a very impactful answer on how the, you put it in a great perspective to show God's character. Uh, and, and, you know, that's super impactful. Thank you for that, Dr. Dr. Selly. Uh, Dr. Hosler, anything you want to add to that, that great answer? Well, I think she, uh, she has said uh, the most important things already, but uh, mm -hmm. I would just maybe add uh, a little detail here and there. This is a question where, again, the Bible doesn't give as many details. But in the book of Revelation, in chapter 12, we read in verse 4 and in verse 9 that the devil was thrown on this earth and with him uh, his angels. Mm -hmm. uh, so there was a war in heaven that was going on and he came to this earth. But as was pointed out, he did not need to come to this earth. I mean, surely God would have would have been sovereign and strong enough to place him any any other place as well. But it was not that he was forced to come to this earth. It was not that God said he has to come to the earth. He gave an opportunity. And as was pointed out, it was not a limitless uh, opportunity. It was very restricted just to the tree of knowledge of good and evil in the Garden of Eden in the most perfect surrounding in the most perfect setting. And uh, if Adam and Eve would have um, stayed loyal, if they would have obeyed the word of God, if they would have followed the promises that he had given them, there would have been no entry of Satan into this world. And we would have been spared the whole evil and the, the sin and the consequences of sin. So um, it really depended on the decision uh, of Adam and Eve that made it possible for him to enter into this world. It was not that God sent him to this earth and, 
to this world and we have to suffer the consequences now. It's actually we are responsible. The human race is responsible for that. And uh, that is the reality that the Bible tells us. Mm -hmm.